Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we just created view bills and order place details part of cafe management system project. If you are not seeing that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to create a new JFrame for this change password. So let us start with that. Let me exit this application and let me create a new JFrame for that. So right click on this, click on JFrame form and here we just need to write change password. After that, we have to just click on finish. It will create a form and here we have to write 700 comma 400 and you just click on OK. And after that, we are going to insert a label over here and let's change it to change password. And in this, uh, we have to like uh, insert the icon. So just click on images and after that, we have to select for the change password icon and OK, just close this and after that we have to insert a button. So right click on this and we are going to select the close button, sorry, close icon. So this one close, OK, close this. Let me read this text, remove the text from this field. Let me make it as 30 and let's place it over here. And after that we are going to insert labels one by one. So it should be old password and after that the next label is for new password password and the next label is for confirm password so confirm password and for this we have to insert the password fields right so let me insert one by one so it should be 230 sorry 250 and the password field next field 250 password field 250 and after that we are going to change the variable names so so txt old password let's copy this and click on ok and change variable name and paste it here and it should be new and the last one we have to change this to confirm after that ok and just remove the text from this remove this text edit text remove this edit text remove this after that we are going to place the buttons over here one by one two buttons we need here so one is for update uh, change the password or update you can say and one is for clear the fields so let me right click on this and let's uh, go to the images and here we have to images and here we have to select the save.png image okay close this after that we have to select the clear png image so clear.png okay and after that we have to change this one to clear and okay after this we have to select all these fields and we have to make it as bold 14 so just go to the properties and here we have to make it as bold 14 okay close this you can see our GUI is almost completed we have to just insert a background image so let's place an icon uh, sorry label and we have to first change to absolute layout after that we are going to properties of this label and here we are going to select a background image so image and here we have a small page background.png just select that click on ok close this let's place it perfectly on this jframe form and let's click on it and you remove this label name and let's select this all the labels name and right click on this and just change the color of this one to white and click on ok just close this and save this after that uh, the first thing is what we need to do is we have to get the like value from home page to this one like email address right so for that we have to do some changes so first we are going to create a variable here so public string user email and here we have to just uh, copy this three lines again and in this just format this it will automatically adjust 
in the correct format so a string email and whatever the we will get the email address so we are just going to set it uh, to this email and after that uh, we have to move to the home page actually so in the home page uh, just double click on this change password it will generate an event and here we have to just uh, write change password this one uh, the next one we have to select with email dot set visible we are going to make it as true and save this so it will pass the data to this page okay one more thing we forget here we have to also change the variable name of this one actually so the variable name of this one should be ta sorry btn button update okay save this now let's move to the source of this page and the first thing is we have to like uh, uh, writing before writing any code we have to move to the user DAO and here we are going to create a method which will actually get some parameter on the basis of the it will perform some operations in our database update and select okay so static void change password and here we are going to get the values so string email and string old password and after that we are going to write string new password and after that we have to just uh, let me minimize this and let's write here uh, like try catch block and here we have to write exception and here we have to just write j option pan this one dot show message dialog and here we have to just write null and whatever the error we will just pass it and the try block we have to write a query select query first so select result set rs equals to db operations dot get data and here we have to just pass the query so it should be select star from user where email is equals to single doubles and plus plus and here we have to just pass the email and and here we have to write password is equals to singles doubles plus plus and here we have to write password and if this condition is like we get some value right so if rs dot next if it exists in that case we have to perform the update operation else we have to like display message that the password is incorrect dot show message dialog null and here we are going to write the whatever the message we want old password is wrong here we are going to display this message and in if condition we have to just call a method and in that we are going to okay we are getting error so it should be not a password only it should be old password this one actually okay after that uh, here in if condition we uh, like in user DAO we already have a update this one you can see this one so we have to just pass the email address to this too to update it so it will show the message password change successfully so let's do that so let's call that method actually here so we are going to call the update method we already have we are going to pass the email address and whatever the new password is you can see so let's save this and let's get back over change password dot and here first thing is we have to disable the uh, this button update button right so just uh, like right here btn dot set enable okay so it should be like uh, btn i think yeah btn dot update dot set enable and here we have to just write false save this and after that we have to write for the validation 
so let's write here public white and validate fields and in this we are going to write get the, all the values sorry yeah old password and txt old password dot get text this one and after that we are going to go for new password txt new password dot get text this one and after that the string confirm password goes to txt confirm password dot get text and here if old password dot equals is nothing you can say then uh, we have to like disable and here after that new password new password dot equals and here like uh, and not confirm password and it should be like confirm form password dot equals and here we have to just write this and we have to check one more thing so new password and dot equals actually equals and here we have to just write confirm password it should be match right then only we will enable that button so let's uh, let me show you the complete line here and after that here we have to write btn update and here we have to write set enable and here we have to write true and else we have to write btn update dot set enable and we are going to write false and whenever this fields will be like uh, change right the value so we have to call that so just generate the event for this so event key released event key released and for the last one event key released this one and here we are going to call that validation actually so validation field and validation field this one and at last we have validation field and save this after uh, like doing this uh, we have to like uh, clear this field okay before clear we have to need to close this so double click on this and here we have to write set visible make it as false and uh, after that we also need to clear right so double click on this clear and here we have to write set visible and here we have to write false and in new and here we have to just uh, like uh, whenever it's refresh right clear so we have to pass whatever the user right so here we are going to pass a user email address dot set visible and here we have to just write true and after that uh, we need to like save this things right so just click on update and here we have to write string string old password equals to txt old password dot get text this one and string new password okay we have to just copy you all those three lines actually so so just copy this and paste it over here and here we have to just write we have to call the user DAO user DAO this one actually user DAO uh, this one dot and here we have to call the change password this one and here you can see automatically taken the user email address 
old password, new password. Actually, here we don't need this uh, confirm password, so leave it. Uh, just this one uh, we are just passing the new password and after that we have to just refresh this page so set visible false and new change password dot uh, we have to just pass the user email address dot uh, set uh, visible and here we are going to write true save this now, now we also need to remove bean max close button. So let's open this like project and here we have to just open the navigator and we just need to click over here. It will show here after that click on J frame form, go to the properties and remove this. Just click on this and after that we also need to set the location where this form will be open. So just select this and in the X axis you have to write here 350. And for the Y axis, you have to just write 134, click on OK and just close this and save this out. Okay, so let's move to the login page and let's try to check that our password is able to change or not. So let's open this. this. Okay, so admin at the rate gmail.com and here I'm just going to write admin. Let's paste it over here. And let's move to the change password. Here you can see. Now I'm just going to write admin 1 and the password I'm going to write 123 and 123. You can see it's get enables we, when we delete one you can see automatically get disabled. So let's test, test it out update old password is wrong. Okay so it it means that we are writing wrong password. So 123 123 let me click on update it's correct everything is correct we have admin the correct password right now and 123 and 123 is matching so let's click on update password change successfully it means that it's working fine so let me close this let me exit this application let me open the database and let me show you actually so select from user here you can see we have a admin user you can see the password is changed to 123 previously it was admin so it means that change password is working as expected so i this is all about change password. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.